Today we're talking about books, good, better, and best books, what you can look for to teach um, sounds and letters and early reading. So we have other videos on um, this first basket is on colors, on animals, um, where they live, what they touch, uh, what they feel like and sound like. Feathers, fins, and fur is a lesson that I have a video on. Um, early vocabulary books, first words, dictionaries, and how to um, decipher what's good for each age child. Um, then the next one is about teaching quantities and the number symbol for your child and the good, better, best books to look for. Shapes. This one's about seasons and early geography. So that's um, another video that I have. And we're going to be covering this one here, down here at the bottom, uh, the white basket. And there's quite a few books um, because language is important. You should find as many good books as possible on the topic. This is a box of books. It's fabulous. There's one for each. Um, some of them are backwards. There's one for each letter. I don't know what I'm going to pull out here, but it's C. So there are more illustrations versus uh, the actual picture, but again, at least they're real to life. So it has the uppercase and lowercase. You always teach lowercase first. So whatever books you find, they should always have only lowercase, unless it's like a sentence and the first word starts with an uppercase. But if you're teaching vocabulary, an early reader is lowercase. So keep an eye for that. That the pictures look real and that it has lowercase. It can have the symbols of C, upper and lowercase. That's great. But this one is easy. It's, uh, you can bring it out. There's isolation of difficulty. And there's one for every letter in the alphabet. That's fabulous. And... This is by, let's see, what company makes this? ABC Box, but it's, I think it's a Chinese company, Allied Publishing. Oh, Discovery Toys. This is a Discovery Toys book, uh, box of books. This is fun. Um, it has real pictures for the most part. That's a stuffed octopus. They're in lowercase which is great because they do crazy things with children's books a lot. Upper and lowercase symbols here. Wonderful vocabulary learning book. You could teach them qu queen, p puppy, p pitcher, p pitcher, pajamas, pig. So you want to always highlight the beginning um, sound of the word. This is an interactive book, which I really love, and I have some notes in here. So um, you would slide it over and say, ah, this is the symbol for ah, ah, this is the symbol for ah. You can even have them trace it. And this is the, this is apple, and this is the word for apple. Apple, apple, apple. And go over it with them. B, b. Butterfly. This is a b, b for butterfly. This is how you write butterfly. B, butterfly. You want to highlight the sounds. Segregate the sounds and highlight the first one. And it has thick pages, so it's got longevity. <sighs> Hat. And you get the picture. This book is by um, Hinkler Books. It's a really great book. This one's cartoony. It's not real pictures, um, but it's a good book. It's interactive, has that sl same sliding capability, only the symbols on this side and the words on this side. There's another one. I'm learning letters, and this has real pictures. It's an awesome idea, real pictures. The only thing, this is what you have to watch out for, it starts with uppercase. On everything, you do not want that. You want lowercase. I don't know why they do that in 
early readers like this, but you can still talk about the pictures, but if you're going to invest money, have one that can help your child be an early reader that they can read on their own, and you do not teach the uppercase symbol until they've learned all the lowercase symbols. So this would not be an early reader until they've done that. So this you can still buy this secondhand and tuck it away, but if you're looking for something to use right now for your child, look for lowercase. And this one, um, you're starting to read. It's got a real picture, upper and lowercase symbols. Drop your tissue in the trash. Trash. Duh. Duh. So it's a, it's a good, um, it isn't an uh, early reader. It's got lowercase. And you can talk more about the picture with children that can't read yet. This is a fabulous interactive book. I bought it secondhand. It does not have the erasable marker. Easy to buy though. You can buy those any day at the store. And what you do is, this says three plus, but your two-year-old, if they're able to learn, first you teach vocabulary with objects. So, and we teach them not A to Z. Um, you can get information on my website or ask me, but we do groups of letters. So the first group is M-A-P-T. And what we do is we always teach with object baskets. And I have a video on that. So object, an object basket has little objects that start with the M, mm, the A, ah, the P, and the T. And you t teach them vocabulary there. And then you teach the symbol and how to write it. And so this book is great because you get that erasable marker and they can trace with their finger. Then they can trace with that erasable marker and then write it on their own. And all of these are, what do you know, in lower case, which is perfect. Always look for a lower case. And it goes all the way to Z. So you wouldn't allow them to do everything in the book. You would teach, um, you know, say M-A-P-T. Then they could do the M-A-P-T in the book. Starting here, and then the next group, and then the next group. So you're teaching four letters or three letters per group. And I have a video on that, so you can watch that. But this is a fabulous book, best book ever. It's got vocabulary, real pictures, lowercase. It has interactive capability, so it can grow with your child and, and be around for a long time. It's got thick pages. So those are good, better, and best books, what to look for, books that interact, books that you can teach language, you want the lower case, you want it to have good either real life illustrations or the absolute best is real pictures of things in the environment. I hope that's helpful. Have a great day.